Hi there fishing buddies, uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, see what we're in store for today. Take care of So I've got a little two gram jig head on. I'm setting it up at night before I set off. I've got my little drop shot kit if I need them. Some shots there and a packet of rooks. I'll get another packet of rooks ready and I'll be taking uh, stick float, some different floats, just in case I want to swap and change. So that's what I'm doing tonight before I set off tomorrow. Yeah, they're fishing buddies. You join me today. I'm going down to the routine. Uh, I'm taking some two gram jig heads, uh, not two ounce light limit video. I'm taking me uh, stick float, wind carrying light, and see if we can get some of these uh, chub and perch and other fish. See what else is in this river. So I fished it in the past, and I've had some different fish in the past. So there we get on. Take care. So what I'm doing is just jigging it. Keep jigging it through. Little two ounce jig amp. This don't work, I can always put a few swan shots on and uh, put a little look on, try that. A couple of maggots or something. So what I've done, I've just changed it over to uh, a couple of swan shots, for four swan shots and quite a long line, four pound line straight through to, to a size 16 up and a worm. And what I've noticed, I've got myself a little idle back there, I'm just going to flick it down in this water, I've got some uh, maggots, got a few worms, I'm a worm wreck, I'm just putting a few maggots in the swim, I've, uh, this is river so I fished it before, I know there's a few trout in it, but there is an odd perch and there is an odd chub as well, so I'm going to try to get a chub if I can. I'm just flicking it out, going in that slack water, and just li literally lifting my rod right down, like that, and letting it find its own bottom. I've had a few knocks on the jig head, let's see if I can get a few knocks on this. I've just hooked into a nice trout. Try and get the land in there. He'll give me a good run for me, on it? Nice size trout, it is. This gentleman just told me where to come, so I've had a trot down here. Lovely trout. He's got to be a couple of pound. This is going to be a night mega in that area. Um, Fuck you across. Is it Nate next to that snag? Get out of that snag. No, I'll get it, mate. I'll get it. Oh, I've got cramp in my leg. I've got a bad leg. Yeah, it's a lovely trout. Right, let's see if we can do this. I have to bear with me at camera a second. Really bad banks, and I've only bought short land uh, landing net. Come on, mate, come on. I don't want to be falling in. Fish. Nice fish he is. Come on, mate. Come on, a little bit further. Come on. I nearly got him. This bank's terrible. I've got him. Wow, I've got him. There we go, we've got him on bank. Beautiful trout. So I'm just going to hook him. And then uh, I'll try and get a photo. So I'm selling rest of the minute. Beautiful brown chat, I'd say about two pounds. Absolute beautiful fish. I'm going to release him.
So as you see now I'm in the river. Um, I've changed over from what we're using. I tried a uh, jig, got a two gram jig head, kept getting bites on it, and I've changed over, caught that first trout. So now I'm gonna go to the stick float, usual setup, and this is the rod that I did the other day. So uh gonna find my depth, walk through the river and uh, try and fish in deep holes with this. I can keep changing over what I've got. So let's see if we can get some more. I've put double white maggot on and trot this through. We've got worms as usual. So everything's to hand, everything I need, carrying light. So let's see if we can trot this through and get some fish. So as you can see I'm just trotting it down. Got a I'd have thought I'd have bite them on double white maggot. Nice no, rocks. It's the Boston. It's letting it drift down. A bit current. Could do with that float shotting down a little bit more. On the bottom. I've tried a scoop with net, and I know I'm not supposed to be using my net, but all baby fry. I don't know what these are. I can't make out what they are. It is, mate. It is. They're minnows. Yeah, the minnows. So I've got not minnows off my list anyway. I did minnows. Yeah. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I'll have fourteen fish. There you go. I'll have four, I'll have fourteen fish. <laughs> Just met up with this guy up here, bless him. Yeah, the baby minnows. So I've not minnows off my list anyway. Yeah. So minnows are off my list. So I'm really lucky that I've got my waders. Because uh, I can carry on roaming. Fish both sides of the river. Canal's not too far away, I might have a quick walk down to look at canal. Uh, it's quite picturesque down there, so I can have a walk down there. I've got, like I said, I've got Polaroids on. And uh, trying to find these deep holes and stuff, see if I see any fish. Like I said, lucky I've got the waders. Brought the waders with me. Can, do a lot more than I would if I just got my wellies on. So I'm gonna make myself my way across to the following side. And where I was doing the uh, jigging, I'm gonna go back up there. I've left it for an hour or so. I was getting good bites up there, so I'm gonna try up there. I'm gonna get through this gate and uh, I'll get back to you. I'm making my way down the river. The amount of rubbish in this river is unbelievable. Look at that. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting what people do. And further up, I've just found a uh, electric quad, like a uh, scooter thing, and I'm making a e-bike at the minute, so I might be able to resalvage some parts off that. So, super. I just went for a quick little walk under the bridge. I found that in the river. 
and that as well. But if it's going to work, I can try and salvage some parts of it. But that will be getting cleaned up and stuck in the fishing room. <laughs> right, well, I've just got this extra fish. It's a bigger minnow. So I've definitely got minnows off my list. Might worth lifting rocks up and have a look, see if we can see some uh, little minnow look. Away he goes. He's away. That's an extra fish. I'll tell him up by all the end. Like I say, might worth lifting some rocks up and looking for some stone loach and bullets. See if we can get them with net. It's got another bite. Another little minnow. So it's putting miles in my net. Yeah, they're putting miles in my net. But I ain't really come to catch these. I'm just trotting it down. No bites up to yet. Sorry about the noisy background. And we'll try it double red to start off with. I've been having bites on worm, I've got worms still. It's really deep down this edge. Really f fast trot in this edge. Obviously, it's slacker of water, it's gonna be a bit slower. As you can see, when I miss a bite, I keep letting it go down, let it do its own thing. I can always change back over to whatever else I've brought with me. I want to try to stick float just this bit. We would have thought they'd be in here because it's one of the deepest holes at the river. What I found up to now. Just trotting it down and I'm just looking to a better fish. Not seeing it yet. It's fighting well. Get the landing net ready. Please be a chub. I've only got two and a half pound bottom on. It's really deep down this edge, you've got to be careful here. Feels like a good fish. The way it's fighting, I think it's a trout. It's a good trout, I think. Don't spook me swim. Proper fighting. It's really good in this current. Yes, yeah, a good sized trout. Oh, it's a brilliant trout.
Ethan's got him. Look at that. Look at colours on that. Absolutely brilliant. Wicked, someone's going to hook it and uh, we'll get a photo, I think. Just had him rested. Beautiful fish. Same again, about two, two and a half pound. Just going to release him. There he goes. So my lists are gonna have half an hour. Last half an hour, this bit looks a bit barren. Really slow. And uh, the amount of rubbish that's in this river is unbelievable. Don't know why people chuck stuff in rivers like they do. It's disgusting. But I can see it bottom with Polaroids on. I've not spotted any fish yet. I'll still have a couple of shots too. Uh, I've got an appointment to go to. So other than that, I'd have stayed for a bit longer, caught some more fish, but I've had quite a few. Let's see if I can catch the last few. So I was trotting down this slow bit. Hang on. That might have been bottom. Do apologise for the sun. Like I say, it looks really sunny, but it's really cold. Really slow trot this. Not gonna venture any further. We'll put on river. Got one on, got one on. Yep, got a fish. I'm not set me drag. I'm in a treat. That's playing well. I didn't think I'd get one from this bit. The landing net's over there. Try and make way back to the landing net. Just set me drag before I lose it. Feels like a good trout again. Trees everywhere. Yeah, it's giving me a good fight, this is. Trees everywhere. Trying to get back to my landing net. Bear with me, please. Sorry about this. <clears throat> Should have my landing net. Read it. Alright, got my landing net. I wasn't even expecting to get one. Oh, buzzard. I really do apologise for the sun. Yeah, it's a brownie, I can see him. There he goes. Away from these trees. Beautiful fish. There you go. He's in the net. We got him. Another beautiful brownie. So I'm just going to hook him and then I'll release him. I'll uh, rest him in a minute. So there you go. Another brownie. Similar size to the last one, about pound and a half, two pound. So I'm just going to rest him a second and then I'm going to release him. So that's me done. Uh, just release that last fish, like I said, I've got an appointment to go to today. So I'd love to stay for a bit longer. Uh, Managed to get some stuff out of the river. Had a little tidy up and 
definitely, definitely coming back here again. Uh, brown is decent sized brown trout, and uh, obviously, I've got another species off my list. So, I'll we'll get back, I'll tally it all up, up fish, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, all. So as you can see I've brought them back, like I said I'm building this e-bike, so I'll take note of anything out of that if it works. Um, just going to sum it up for the day, a uh, 22 mile in the keep net, I uh, caught the five fish, obviously the three trout and the two minnows, so that's another species off the list. Um, I caught them other minnows, about 15 minnows in net, but I'm not going to count them. So there's 25 mile left in keep net. And, uh, See you on the next one and see if we can get some chub or something next time. So take care of all. Thanks, thanks again for watching. Thank you. Thank you. It's time to get blood ready for this. Next adventure. So, God's ready to go out next time. Uh, before we end this video, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Dave Lyons. Uh, he's a co-founder of Tackling Minds. So, please check this guy out. Absolutely awesome job that this man's doing. He's going around helping people out and doing stuff for people with mental health and anxiety. Uh, obviously, I struggle with some stuff. So, Please check him out. I'll try and put a link in the description below if I can find out how to do that. Because like I said, I'm not that good with technology. I'm just learning all the time. So uh, definitely check this guy out. Absolutely brilliant. And tight lines to all. And let's see if we can catch some fish on my next video. Take care again all. So I've left a link in the description below if you want to check out uh, my Facebook group and this Tackling Minds Facebook group. So, thanks for watching. So I'd like to thank you to everybody. Uh, thanks to all the fishing buddies. Uh, thanks everybody for your support. Uh, don't forget, Come and fishing buddy, and everyone subscribers, we will be on a prize giveaway. Thanks again for watching.